Okay, so we have this Dollar Tree truck, which I picked up a while ago, and they're not always the flattest guys and things like that, just so you know. But this is what we're going to use, and I want to turn it into a Valentine's one instead of a fall one. You could do Christmas, whatever you like, but you're going to see how I will go take it from this to Valentine's in this video. Um, all right, and what I'm going to use to make my template is this parchment paper because I'm, I'm okay at freehand, but you know, it doesn't always work. So I'm going to grab some baking paper, parchment paper from my kitchen, guys. Let me grab it. Here, scissors here. And I'm going to see how you can see through it. We're going to be able to use that to our advantage. All right, so I'm going to just cut a piece as big as your truck. There you go, it covers the truck, I'm good. Now, what I like to do is roll this up because this stuff likes to flip over like crazy, so I like to roll it up a couple different ways. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, so I'm just kind of encouraging it to become flatter. See how it likes to roll up like that? Well, I want to, it's naturally on the roll like this. I'm gonna flip it over and just get it to, Hopefully flatten out a little bit. That's this is the trickiest part of it is getting that so I'm just gonna encourage it a little bit. Now if you have tracing paper, this is you can absolutely use tracing paper, but this is a great way to take advantage of things you already have at home without having to go out and buy more things, right? So, and we're all about that. I like to use what we have around the house that's available to us right now. So I'm going to take some tape. Now this is a little tricky because this stuff is non-stick, right? So um, I'm going to just take some masking tape or some painter's tape and I'm going to, let's see if I can show you. First I'm going to cut that, or no, actually I'm not going to bother cutting that off. I'm going to use the masking tape or the painter's tape. I'll do, do it down here to show you, but then I'm going to have to do it off camera. So you can see how I trace everything. I'm going to tape that on there and then tape it again. All right, so this is a piece of cardstock or your table or whatever you're using. I just don't want it to, see it does like to pull off, so it's, you're going to have to still keep your hands on it. All right, and you can maybe even do one more, like a so, right? And just do that in a couple of spots. So I'm just, you might find there's a better tape for this, but right now this is what I have on hand. So that's basically it. I just want it to stay in one spot while I'm tracing. Okay, I'm gonna move this up. And it doesn't seem to matter which side you use, but I want it to stay on my uh, truck when I'm done. So let's see, I'm gonna just do it up here. Just what I showed you. I'm just reusing that tape that's up there. Okay. So you still have to keep your hands on it so it doesn't move around. And I'm literally just gonna, sorry, take this, put it on top now, okay, and trace with a pencil carefully around it. Now these Dollar Tree, see it does like to slide. Uh, these Dollar Tree, oh, you know what might work is some of that sticky tack too. You could put it on the back of this. These Dollar Tree, um, try and keep it close. You're going to have a template that's slightly bigger than what you're painting. Because you can see with the pencil, it's just kind of adding about an eighth of an inch, unless you're more careful. Okay, so down here, I can bring it in closer. And there you have the basic outline for your truck. Now, this is going to be slightly bigger, so keep that in mind. All right, it's just because you've traced it, right? And you can see probably down, at, well, you can't see the bottom of the wheels right now, but they are slightly bigger, so I'm going to hold it down and just retrace that closer to the wheels, all right, so that I don't get confused. And I'm going to just pencil in a little harder so I know which line is which. But the advantage of this paper too is that you can also erase. All right, so let's say you did something up here you didn't care for. You can erase that. 
So your template is pretty good. So you have your basic template. Same shape as your truck. Let me move this up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now, if you want to get some of the, the detail that they have in here, sort of the placement of the back of the, you know, where the window is or where the bumper is or the lights, you can totally slip this under here now. Okay. Make sure it's lined up more or less with what you drew so you can see it's not perfect but it works right and you can like I say you can erase the lines that drive you crazy and then you can see through the parchment paper and you can just pencil in if you like the things like the I'm gonna pencil in the stop light here Look. Now they have it there, but I want it over here, further over, to match this. Now these, like I said, these Dollar Tree templates, I like to usually work on the reverse, but the thing is that they're not necessarily symmetrical. So if I flip this over, there's not, it's not a great match. You can see it's not actually symmetrical. So keep that in mind with your template. Whatever side you're going to be painting is the side you want facing up when you trace around it, so that this will match, okay? So we're good there. And now you can mess around with, okay, I want to see this line here. I definitely want that in there. So let's put that back under. Get it lined up. Hold your paper down and you can see through it. And then just use that as your guide. And I want the window more or less. I can just barely see it, so I'm going to have to have a quick look. Some of these will be better than others. This depends on how they've painted it. So the window goes basically here. To here. And then in here where they have pumpkins, I'm going to draw hearts. All right. So I can pull this out. Now we can get creative. So there's our basic template. All right and we are ready to play around and draw in what we want to paint later on. So I've got, like I say, this stuff doesn't like to stick, which is it's good and bad. With tracing paper, you won't deal with this, but tracing paper is much more expensive. So I have basically the, the back of the uh, truck in, and I think I'm going to put hearts in here so I'm gonna make my window match this so I want my window to match the uh, the truck curve so you see I've made my window match right and in here I'm gonna draw one big heart to start and see here's where I need it to end right so and if you don't love it, remember, okay, so I don't love that one, so I'm going to erase I want this one to be on the front. Now I have a couple of curves here I need to deal with, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this as my guide for a sideways Uh, Valentine right here okay so it's gonna be I'm gonna paint it like this more or less okay it's not gonna be a perfect heart so but now you can see where I'm going so there's the bumper I'm gonna paint that um, this is where the heart is going to be I'm just getting the um, proportions more or less I want this to look like a heart like sitting on the side same with this one all right so but I want this just to look like a heart that's one third of one third showing so I'm gonna continue on with this like that so the other half would be down here all right looks like and then I'm going to throw another guy in here so let's There we 
go. And you can paint in as many as, of these as you want, but I'm just happy with that. I'm going to use this as a, maybe I will do a, a fancy border on this one. And this one will have polka dots. This one might have some cross hatching. We'll see. Maybe some stripes. And then this one might have some hearts in it. This is just your template. You just decide what it is you want your Valentine's truck to look like. Now down here, I'm going to put in a license plate. The wheels are going to be black instead of brown. The truck is going to be turquoise, so I'll just do black, black. Then I might put in um, hearts here like they're holding the plate on so this is going to be what I want to outline I want the truck bumper these are my stop lights here you can put little hearts in there if you want I'm going to this is the uh, what do you call that thing the door, you know, on the back. So. And again, this is all just for when it's time to paint, you just want to trace in the outlines of the things that you want. Here's where you can work it out and get it the way you want it before you put it on here. Okay, so that is the reason for doing the template in the first place. And if you're like, I think I want the door bigger, you can totally do that. If you want to put something in here, writing or whatever, Cricut, you name it, they have they have um, a line going down here, which is kind of a shade. So I'll do that too. You can use a ruler if you like. So now you you have your basic um, design ready to go, and the rest is up to you as far as painting goes. You want to just use this design to paint like a. We're going to base coat this in, then we're going to use this to temp draw on our template, and then we'll be able to paint um, a lot more easily. So give it a try. Let me know what you think with this DIY Dollar Tree truck template.